she not just have to call, please. I don't want to leave him alone. Leave him alone. What's wrong with you? Welcome to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to start with this video, which is the video of the day, according to me. It really impressed me. It is a rare video of the second lady, Madame Dorcas Rigadi, is protecting the deputy president from praying journalists. They had a press conference and they had uh, briefed them of what is happening of the assassination plan of the employees who are sent home forcefully on compulsory leave and Rigadi was actually blaming the president for all the predicaments that is going through and then journalists had their moments and they asked questions and Rigadi had uh, answered all that they uh, he felt they should know but then you know journalists are trained to probe more and more information from the people they are engaging with so they kept on you know asking questions and there is this moment when Dorcas Rigadi felt it was enough and the you know the deputy is just from 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 the hospital and psychologically he's also very tired both physically and psychologically, because of what he's going through. So Dorcas was upset, and she told journalists, leave him alone, what's wrong with you? She was actually upset. The reason I'm starting with this video, apart from the fact that it, it is the video of the day, I had earlier on misinterpreted. When I watched that video, I thought that Madame Dorcas was telling Rigedi Shagwa to leave Ruto alone because she was kind of tired of the situation. So I thought she was telling Rigadi Shaba what channel and William Ruto. And the members of the channel corrected me. Some of them actually called me and told me go and watch that video from from just push it a little and see what was happening. Then I realized Madame Dorcas was only but protecting the deputy president. And so I accept that correction with profound humility. And that is the joy of having loyal subscribers and supporters who will always tell you, hapo, hapo, our Japan But again, I really love that video of the way she was protecting, protecting the debut president. It reminds me of the day when Jimmy Wanjigi was also facing the, uh, such kind of, of, of predicaments. And... His better half was just beside, uh, beside him and it gives a picture of that moral and psychological and social support, that family support that must be there. It is one that is needed in, in politics because if, if the powers that be realize, realize that they can separate you from your people and they even separate you from your family, then you are doomed and gone completely. So it is the video that uh, I really, I really love it. So ladies and gentlemen, President William Samoy Ruto has been given a red card by Mount Kenya or from Mount Kenya. Anyone who is associated with William Ruto, especially during this moment when he is plotting a scheme to oster the deputy president, a man who says he has supported William Ruto, especially when William Ruto was under siege from his predecessor, Uru Kenyatta. They feel betrayed and they feel very bad. I have seen Kimani Chungwa's portraits being burnt. And they were saying Msaliti, a traitor. I have also seen in Kinango, the member of, Pal of parliament, Zakari Duku, who was ejected from a club where he was enjoying his drink. And he was told Kwenda, 
even the security hall was having a very very difficult time to control the crowd that was chased away i saw another member of parliament whose garden the, the members of the public decided to take their cattle to go and graze in a, a, in a farm a, a rice farm and it gives you the picture that those who are not supporting Rigadi Gishagwa are under siege. Kihika, Susan, who is the governor of, uh, of Nakuru, was heckled when she was trying to read the condolence message from William Samuel. So it tells you that things are very bad. But today, they also confirmed the same. On Mashuja Day, you know Mashuja is being celebrated in every county. And there is one message from the office of the president that all the commissioners and, their, and, and the deputy commissioners are given. So that as we celebrate this, the head of state will be in one place like we were, they were in Kuali. But in every county, they are given a speech to read. So the moment when the county commissioner rose to read this message that you know it starts by 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 the title the real title of the president that can really you know upset those who are who don't want william ruto that the message is from his excellency the uh, his excellency president william samoy ruto the commander in chief of all the armed forces you know egh and all those titles when you don't want someone and they are given such titles you feel really feel very bad. So the, the deputy county, com county commissioner rose to read that speech and he met the wrath of the people of Kiambu because it was in Kiambu County where he was reading this and they showed him that even if he is the commander in chief of all the armed forces, we don't care because he is persecuting our son. Each by His Excellency Honorable William Samoy Ruto PhDCGH President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces during the first Mashiachos of the President Alex in Sunday, 20, 2024, the Kali Stadium, Kali County. We, the people of Kenya, are proud to tell us in our freedom and our strength to come and play free of this array. These are our brothers and people of the time of the freedom and freedom fighters. We fought the long time in freedom and emotion with inflinting courage and commitment to prevail. Even if it costs them everything, including their way lives, from them, we have a fine model that has inspired the nation of crystal clear that Gedi Gashagwa has endeared himself to the very people. Remember he was being referred to as a, a, a poli his playing politics of the village while they were to Wachini and he has endeared himself to them. This is why those who are betraying him, because that is what they say, are finding it very rough and they meet the wrath. In this country we play tribal and ethnic based politics. That is why in Kalenjin, Ruto is their son. And if you doubt, when Ruto was about to go to The Hague a few years ago, he whipped the emotions of their people. And the people were saying, it is our son, it is Raila who is taking our son to The Hague. Uhuru did the same. He was the son of Mount Kenya. They, they, they were saying, they are taking your sons to be hung in The Hague. Raila is the son of where he's coming from. Kalonzo is the son of where he's coming from. That is the kind of politics that we play. And I remember sometimes back, Patrick Limoba was saying that in Kenya, we are given a period or an opportunity to elect leaders. We elect thieves. And when 
we then we expect them to behave like angels. When they are caught stealing to enrich themselves, we go and protect them that he is a thief, but because he's our thief, please leave him. And so when William Ruto is seen to be engineering the political annihilation against Regeni Gashagwa, then it vexes the people of Mount Kenya, especially those who know very well that they supported William Ruto. They know very well that William Ruto charged them against their own son, Uhuru Kenyatta, who had warned them. And now they regret because the person they voted against to take to Bondo, courtesy of William Samuel Ruto, was Raila Moludinga. He is now deep inside the government. Even after election, William Ruto told them, I will not allow Raila to be part of us. And that's how Kimani Chungwa, Dindi Nyoro, people like uh, um, Rigethi Geshagwa were shouting on top of their voices that we will not allow Raila, Sisi, sons of Mau Mau. They feel embarrassed that William Ruto used them. And so when someone comes to read such statements, they really feel very bad. And that's why they were heckling. And this is why William Ruto has become very unpopular. And William Ruto knows this very well. That is why earlier I had analyzed how, how Mithikani Nturi is telling Kindiki indirectly that he regrets why he got into a coalition or an engagement with William Ruto without a written you know, kind of document. Because now he's jobless. Now Rigedi Shago is about to be rendered jobless. And Rigedi has always said that we never signed anything. People like Moses Wetangul and Mdavadi and Amazon Kingi came there and they, they, they had a written agreement. But they're saying that they regret because they trusted, they trusted Rutus so much. They said, let us just work. And Kithuri Kindik is being told, you're now being appointed as a deputy. But William Ruto has a dark scheme against Mount Kenya. One of the reasons why we, one of the the projects that William Ruto had was to bring disunity in Mount Kenya. And he has managed. If there is a time when we are now talking about Mount Kenya East and Mount Kenya West, it is now because, you see, they are being separated. The other ones are now be, being given a deputy. And these other ones are feeling very bad. It is only meant to disintegrate them into pieces because in unity, William Ruto is finished. And he wanted to do this. If you ask me, he has succeeded. And that's why Kithure is being warned. William Ruto knows very well that he will, he will not bank on the Mount Kenya votes. He is looking towards the West. Nyanza and, and, and Western Kenya. Pale kwa Mdavadi, Wetangula and Pale kwa Raila. And of course, the support base of Raila, including the coast. They seem to have forged an alliance. And there is this toxic talk about 41 tribes against one. So that is what they want to create. But before that, William Ruto will realize that he's become very unpopular. He's the man who talked about bottom up. Now bottom up is unsellable. He went through the church. The churches realized that this man is not doing what he promised. And even the churches that come from Central have fallen out with him. And so that kind of heckling is something that we will continue to see especially those who are supporting the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. To Kimani Chungwa and the group, they are being used to betray their brother. Let them learn from what has happened to Rigadi Gashagwa.